about eight months. By that I mean that uh, if you've ever gone to Walmart, you really think that you've gotten a great value. <laughs> I, I, I would like to see a little more truth in the brand names. Uh, like, don't call it the best choice. It's the best choice. I'm like good enough mac and cheese. <laughs> it's, it's tasty enough. My girlfriend uh, made me start. She got me into uh, doing one of the open mics at Arts at 311 for our friend Tim Bowen's birthday. I also like the uh, the poor bastard instant noodles. <laughs> but uh, if I were you, I would stay away from the Broken Dreams brand condoms. <laughs> I like getting uh, laughter uh, when I say something. That's probably the simplest explanation. Uh, it's probably because of my shitty diet that I'm out of shape. And I think that, like, if you don't know whether or not you're out of shape, there's a pretty easy way to tell. Uh, if you... If when somebody asks you to do an activity, you respond a certain way, you can tell whether you're out of shape or whether you're pretty fit. For example, if somebody comes up to you and says, hey, you want to go for a walk? If you say, sure, let's go, you're probably in pretty good shape. If somebody comes up to you and says, hey, would you like to go jogging? And your first response is, fuck you. <laughs> it's a safe bet. They're not very physically fit. This happened to me uh, at work the other day. I, one, one of my coworkers comes up and he says, uh, hey, me and some of the guys are going for a jog after work. Do you want to come? I was just like, no, fuck no. The fuck kind of question is that? <laughs> ew. I actually said, ew. <laughs> I responded, I realized I responded the same way that I would have if he had asked me if I wanted to go child molesting after work. <laughs> like, no, I'm going to kick your fucking ass in the parking lot. But I won't because I'm not very fit. <laughs> I guess my goals would be to eventually be able to reach a wider audience, but not be super famous, because that seems like it'd be a pain in the ass. My granddad had three exercises. He had push-ups, he had running, and he had stabbing foreigners. <laughs> and he did great on that plan. Uh, I mean, that was enough, like, he killed Nazis. <laughs> Like important ones, not not maybe not like Adolf, but like Gear, like Gear, Gear, uh, Lou Gehrig. Fuck it, we'll go with that. So the fitness, the fitness dude at, at work was like, uh, come to the gym with me. So I went to the gym this one time, the one time, and uh, he says, it starts off pretty good. He's like, okay, we're gonna start with some push-ups. We're gonna do some squats. And you do a little, little jogging. I'm like, okay, I gotcha. He's like, he breaks out. He's like, we're gonna do some scrotum tucks. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> we're gonna do some inverse reach arounds. <laughs> like right here next to the treadmill. He's like, we're gonna do some deep, deep nick bends. We're gonna do some uh, sweaty nipple cups. We're gonna do uh, a few rusty trombone extensions. I want you to hold it for 30 seconds. We're gonna do some power prolapses. I haven't done those since college. <laughs> we're gonna kick it back with some, uh, some bareback, bareback rodeo clowns. <laughs> we're, gonna some, we're gonna do 15 reps of prostate drivers. We're gonna do some, uh, some ass clampers, two sets of 10. Do some, uh, some deep foul insertions and we'll finish it over with some Cleveland steam trucks. <laughs> Which, by the way, is a uh, very good core workout. <laughs> I think I might be bisexual now. I tell a lot of stories. Uh, basically, just things that have happened to me throughout my life, people that I know, my mom especially has provided a quite a few opportunities for uh, some, some laughs. My favorite kind of guy, favorite kind of joke telling guy is the guy that will tell a really, uh, like a simple joke and then follow it up with kind of a depressing anecdote about his life. Like, um, 
But he goes with like, yeah, I've got an Xbox. Her name's Janet. Because <laughs> Xbox is like another word for twat, right? <laughs> but seriously, the divorce ruined me. <laughs> or, it's like, man, I had to go to the hospital once and they gave me morphine and I was like, hitting on the nurses and shit. I was like, are you an angel? Because I'm high as fuck right now. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I've got a pretty bad opium dependency problem. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> the last one, I swear. Uh, <laughs> um, got in a car accident one time. There was a woman driver. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I haven't been the same since the accident. <laughs> um, no. My second favorite uh, joke telling person is the asshole liar. Uh, basically, uh, as an example, uh, one time my friend uh, was sitting with me watching TV and we were talking about something and he says that uh, you know, I was molested when I was a kid. Wow. That's really terrible, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fooled ya. <laughs> Fucking joking, man. Faggot. <laughs> like, yeah, you really got me with that story that I would have had no way of knowing about. <laughs> like, at all. Because the joke's on me. <laughs> I guess, like, what I wonder is if he goes around doing that to everybody, like, uh, your baby, I love you, and I'd never cheat on you. Just kidding, I fucked your sister, man. <laughs> or, uh, hey, got you a drink, and I swear I didn't put a roofie in it. Psych, you're getting date right. <laughs> or my favorite one, I pulled out. <laughs>